So in uh, fifth period, we were managed to figure out why this graph is the way it is. And so um, it says use Euler's method to with step length 0 0.2, and it gives us two different initial conditions. So all you have to do to find this is on your calculator, change those initial conditions. So on mine, it says n or u n min, but I think yours says u zero. Change of that first one to be 1,000, because that's x, and change the second one to be 1,500 for y. And now go back to your table and check out the un and vn values. So um, notice how as, as we let n increase, uh, the un values are going to 0, and the vn values are going to 3,000. So that's this part on the graph. As If I start here at the point x is 1,000 and y is 1,500, then I, as I let x go, um, well, as I increase n, x is going to 0, and y is going to 3,000. So that's why it, it behaves this way. These x values, these x values are getting smaller and smaller in this direction, but the y values are going up to 3,000, as we can see again on the calculator here. Uh, un 2.9 times 10 to the minus 4 is basically 0. And then when that happens, y is 3,000. So then to get the other one, so this is really like, this is just part i, and this is part i, i. So this time we're just starting at a different point and you can plug those, um, you can change that now. So go back to the y equals and change this one to be 1500 because x now we're starting x is 1500 and y is uh, 1000. Okay, and then go back to the table and we can see why, uh, why that's happening. So as x, it's gonna take my calculator a bit of time but as x increases now, so look at the un values. As, as I let the, if I, if I let n increase, those numbers are gonna approach 2000 here. But if I let, um, if I check out the vn values, those are going to zero. So the x values are 2000 and this coordinate, you know, the y coordinate is zero. So that's why it is approaching this value in that direction. And so the arrows would also be important. So essentially what we're saying, what I'm saying is you can use the GDC for this part. You just need to change these initial values in your Euler's method um, on, your, on your GDC. So that's, uh, hopefully that makes sense.